Hello, it's Catherine Nicholson here from the virtual trading team and I'm here to share some advice on how to get your Zoom room organized for you and your participants when you're delivering a virtual workshop. We've actually got a slide deck that we share to guide participants on what to do in order to set up their Zoom room, but let me show you how we do it. So the first thing is to guide their eyes to the top right hand corner of the screen to see if this button here says exit full screen. If it does, let's click it. So we click exit full screen. There we have it. And now you can see all of your icons at the bottom of the screen. So the first one to click is manage participants. When you click on that, you will see all of your participants are showing there on the top right hand corner of the screen. And beneath that at the very bottom, you've got some feedback icons so you've got a yes and a no which we use quite a lot you can clear them using the eraser and what your participants will see because they're not host is also a blue hand that they can click to raise their hand like they would in a virtual session next we have the chat so let's click on the chat icon and then you can see that the chat opens up there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you and they can type messages into the chat box you can actually um, save the chat as well. If you just take a look at this, you can change who participants can interact with also. And if you want to upload a file for your group, then just click in the little file icon here. You can upload something directly from your computer if you've got a handout to share, for example. So that's all nice and organized. The problem or the challenge that we have with Zoom though is that when you go to share your slide deck, this remains nice and neat and tidy for your participants, but your space gets a little bit mix, mixed up. Let me show you how. So if I were to share a deck, let's share this PowerPoint deck here. Um, now what happens is I need to open up my participant panel again and my chat panel, but they come up as floating boxes, as you can see here, which covers your PowerPoint presentation. It's not a problem, let me reiterate, for your participants, they still see everything all beautifully laid out. So we found a way around this. Rather than presenting your PowerPoint presentation in full screen mode as you would automatically, instead, let's just come out of the PowerPoint presentation. Let's just close these down. If you just, let me just go back to sharing. Here we go. So when you open up your normal PowerPoint here, if you just look in the top right hand corner of the screen, restore down is what you want to click and that means you can resize the screen so when i bring up my participants panel and my chat panel you can see that i can see everything and the same goes for your camera as well if you're showing your video you can just move the chat panels and resize them in order to play your presentation though instead of hitting the typical icon for playing it you want to go into reader mode so if i click this here reading view, then that looks like you're playing your PowerPoint presentation as normal, but it means that you don't have to have it in full screen size. And you can just move your slides forwards like this, nice and straightforward. And there you have it. Now, just a quick um, piece of advice. When you go into breakout rooms, when you come back, you'll need to just reopen up your participants panel and your chat panel. Um, once you've done it a few times, it's super quick and automatic. So although it seems like a bit of a frustration to begin with, it does become much easier as you get used to it. So there you have it. Good luck with your Zoom room.